you know that I was away uh, for a little while, and uh, I missed you guys a whole lot. I'm, I'm so glad to be able to be back with you together and, and to see with you and spend this time with you. So it's good to see you all. And I want to say thank you for all of you who are praying for me and for my family. We were at a very difficult time for us because, as some of you know, uh, my brother died. And a uh, very hard thing for us to go through. So I thank you for, for praying for me and, uh, and being, being here for me. Well, today, I wanted to talk to you about what it's like to be a kid. And actually, I'm not going to talk with you about that. I'm going to ask you what it's like to be a kid. What are, what are some of the great things that you like about being a kid? Playing with your Xbox and playing video games, okay? Do only kids do that? No. But you probably do it maybe more than some folks who are working or that kind of thing. What's some of your favorite things about being a child? Do you think kids have more fun than grown-ups? Yeah. I think sometimes that's true. So, so say maybe for some of you, part of being a what you like about being a kid is that you get to have fun in ways that grown-ups don't get to have fun, right? Okay. Yeah, sometimes grown-ups play too. I'm sorry, but I, I was driving, I was flying in a plane and, I, and my ears are unplugged yet, so I can't hear you very, can't, can't hear you very well. But yeah, grown-ups play too but in a different sort of way. Like, if you saw me at a playground, and I was playing in the sandbox, just by myself, do you think that would be kind of strange? Yeah. Yeah, you might, people might wonder what's wrong with me. <laughs> Whereas, if you can go into the play lot, into the, into, the, uh, into the sandbox, and no one even thinks anything of it, right? That's pretty cool. You don't have to work, right? You, uh, you don't have to be so serious all the time, right? Now I want to ask you to think about some of the things that you that are hard about being a kid. You, you, get, yeah, you get disciplined, and sometimes that means that, 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 that it's kind of loud, right? Or sometimes disciplined in ways that kind of are, are not much fun, right? What what are some other great some other not so great things about being a grown up or being a being a kid? What? Yeah, you have to go to bed a lot earlier than grown ups do, so, right? Yeah, I didn't like that when I was growing up. I, I always wanted to stay up. I didn't want to miss a thing. Jesus said, you know, 
If you, unless you come to me like a little child, you won't be able to see the kingdom of heaven. He, he said, you know, grown-ups, sometimes you need to be more like a child, right? Instead of always being told as kids, oh, you need to grow up and be more grown up. There was a time, do you mind if I borrow you for just a second? Okay. There was a time when Jesus, when he was talking to his disciples, and they were all grown-ups, right? And he took a child in his arms, just like I'm doing with Jeremiah right now. Is that all right with you? Okay. <laughs> I was giving, I was, Jesus would take a, a child up in his arms, and he would say, you all, grown-ups, if you only knew that whenever you welcome a child just like this one, you're welcoming me. And when you're welcoming me, you're welcoming my father. Did you know that when somebody takes care of you and cares about you and welcomes you, that they're welcoming Jesus? That's pretty cool. That's pretty important, isn't it? You get to be Jesus for those who care for you. You get to be Jesus for everybody around you. And, and hopefully, they'll understand that and they will treat you really well. Okay? So I'm going to let you sit down there again, Jeremiah, and we're going to pray together. Lord, oh yes, you want to say something? Yeah. Sometimes we don't, as kids, we don't get what we want. Do you think that happens with grown-ups too? Yeah. yeah. Grown-ups don't always get what they want. <laughs> In fact, a lot of times we don't get what we want. But guess what? God makes sure that we get what we need. Food and clothes. So let's pray together, okay? Lord, there are wonderful things about being a child, and we thank you for those wonderful things. We thank you for being able to have fun in special ways. We thank you for being able to uh, jump and laugh and sing and play in the sandbox, and no one gives it a second thought. We thank you that there are our times for children to be children and not have to take on all of the responsibilities that adults have to. We also recognize, Lord, that the way it's set up, that there are some things that are really difficult for children. And sometimes it's because the grown-ups in their life don't do everything that they should for them. Lord, help us, grown-ups, to do everything that we can for our children. And for our children, help them to know that they have a very special place in Jesus' heart. He loves you, the children, so very much. And he wants everyone to love them as well. All this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, well you guys can